Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya and this video is about coloration and mimicry. Yes, in this video we are going to study or we are going to learn about uh, coloration and mimicry. In that I am going to do, I am going to give a short introduction and then definition of mimicry or animal coloration and classification of mimicry. Mainly there are two types. Okay, in that sub uh, types are there. First one aggressive mimicry and then protective mimicry and then warning mimicry and the second set is Batesian mimicry with example and Mullerian mimicry with example. So these are all the contents before uh, before, before starting with the uh, introduction part. So first we will learn what is coloration and mimicry. See it is very easy uh, because uh, in most of the times uh, like in as an entertainment in your schools, colleges uh, where the person is going to imitate like the other, other person. Like some people will imitate like a uh, famous actors uh, the, like their styles, their mimicry, that is a kind, that is actually, the, I'm just trying to say the meaning of the mimicry. It means mimicry means one person is going to imitate like a another the same thing is goes for the animals as well animals also going to do the mimicry now the question is why they are doing the mimicry there are many reasons for that but mainly the mimicry uh, is done by the animals to escape from the predator here there comes a two concept that is prey and predator prey is the one which is going to eaten by the predator and predator is the one which is going to in search of a prey as in search of prey prey here acts as a food for the uh, predator okay that's about the prey and predator here the, uh, the mimicry uh, it is not only done by only by the prey just to escape from the predator even predator will also do the mimicry to catch up the prey so we can uh, see this mimicry in a two views Okay, don't worry. I will explain these two views one by one and watch my video till the end. Okay, now I will start with the introduction part. The term mimicry is derived from the Greek word. Okay, the term mimicry is derived from, uh, uh, it is derived from Greek word mimikitos, which means imitate closely or imitative. Here the one, one animal, for example, thing, the animal may be that animal uh, could be it may be a animal which is going to closely acts like a bee okay that is called as mimicry in the greek word mimikitos means imitate closely or imitative rs lul the richard swan lul this is the long form has defined mimicry as the he defined mimicry as the it is a protective adaptation of animals due to which they required they acquire sorry they acquire resemblance to the an other organism to the other organisms and inanimate objects okay inanimate objects uh, in form uh, in mimicry in what all in all the way they are doing the mimicry in the form in the shape in the structure or it may be a color in the form or it may be a color what are they are going to imitate they may be going to imitate their structure their shape okay their forms different forms second one they may imitate the color they will change their color to the uh, like that of the another color or like that, like that of the uh, background like that and the attitude okay and actions how they are doing the actions trying to make scary the uh, like that that is the actions and there why they are doing it and thereby escaping the observation or advertising and up apparent harmless which is not at all real so this mimicry is not at all uh, re uh, real it is just imitating okay it's like a very silent person is acting like a rowdy okay but in actually in real he is a silent person like that the animals which are uh, non poisonous they will act like a poisonous uh, they will show up like a poisonous just why they are doing that to escaping from the observation and advertising that i am harmful sutters and galaton in 1973 as defined mimicry as a close resemblance between two or more organisms that is advantageous to at least one of those species involved here why these uh, these two animals like the a is going to act like a b why it is doing it because it has a advantageous uh, a, uh, a is going to get advantage from b by acting like a b because it is it helps to escape from the predator or it may help to get, uh, help to catch the prey. That's why uh, mimicking is a. It's like it is going to help one of the any organism. And next, uh, 
there is uh, what is this animal coloration here on an, animals what they will do they will change the color coloration you, you, you might all don't know no it's a common english term color okay they will change the different colors for example camellia you have the example of camellia you might have already observed this you might already know from from the lower classes itself that it is going to change its, its color according to the uh, background okay like that so animal coloration is the now you are understanding the what is coloration so here the animal coloration is the general appearance of an animal resulting from the refle reflection or emission of emission of emission of light from its surface okay it's a emission of a light from the surface uh, from its body <clears throat> there are several uh, reasons uh, why animals have evolved colors uh, one one he said for example one is camouflage uh, that is actually enables an animal to remain hidden from the view of a predator that is the one reason as i told before okay moving on to the next point according to charles darwin in the year 1859 uh, at that time he proposed the theory of uh, theory of natural selection okay theory of natural so uh, darwin uh, uh, given the uh, given the theory of natural selection in that he said that features such as coloration evolved why it is evolved why animals are changing their color uh, because uh, evolved by providing an individual animals with their reproductive advantages as well he also says that it, it will give the reproductive advantages how it gives the reproductive uh, advantage why how the coloration okay how the coloration is going to give the reproductive uh, advantage the charles darwin says that uh, the coloration gives the reproductive ad advantages as well i said many advantages are there one is just to hide from or escape from the predator the second one is uh, he is saying that reproductive advantage what is that reproductive advantage for example make you to understand see um, uh, there are uh, the thing there is a pond here okay uh, similar pond okay one small pond in that there are so many fishes are there okay so many fishes are there but here one female fish has to choose the male fish okay has to choose the male fish here there are many males are there Ma many male fish are there are there but who she is going to choose she is going to choose the one which is in the more brighter color okay because it is very attractive she thinks that okay she is more different than the another organisms because it is well brightened the color it has the well brightened and, and others are all normal so it is a different one so it is uh, thinks that she is uh, that uh, fish is very strong so that's why it is going to choose the another fish this is a, a simple one uh, example for me you to understand so uh, it is going to see uh, and for example if you take a, sim a simple example like make you to understand in human beings itself uh, while choosing a life partner we are going to uh, uh, we are going to choose a person like he should be hero like and uh, we are not going to choose a uh, any uh, comedian or side character or something like that we are going to go for the hero like uh, characters because in the hero one process are very mm, kind hearted and he is very uh, active and he is very uh, kind and loving and he is uh, very good at fighting all those things means the, all those things will be attractive like that in animals also the one who, who which has the brighter color that is more attractive so that the female one will choose the one which is in the brighter color okay that's why the charles darwin says that um, so it will helps in the reproduction so it is going to get that animal and they will undergo for reproduction thereby increasing their uh, next generation okay moving on to the next point animal coloration may be result of any combination of so how the animal color, co coloration uh, is go, uh, is going to uh, how the color is going to change it is the result of pigments or chromatophores chroma means color okay chromatophores and uh, or by structural coloration or by the bioluminescence because of all these uh, reasons the animal coloration uh, animal is going to get the coloration because of presence of pigments uh, chromatophores these are also nothing but the pigments only chroma means color okay and structural coloration and bioluminescence okay L luminescence means light okay coloring now we will um, uh, moving on to the very important uh, uh, point here that is uh, we are going to learn about the what is actually the meaning of mimic and uh, another concept called as model so we will look at what are these two here mimic means uh, listen carefully mimic means an organism which mimics or it's imitating an animal is called as mimic okay don't worry i will make this uh, understand so which animal is called as mimic and which animal is called as model so for example make you to understand i will write an org organism a okay or animal a and animal b in this case 
an organism uh, a organism is going to mimic it is going to act like a bee that's why this organism a organism this is actually called as mimic this is called as mimic okay because it is a, uh, it is imitating the another organism an organism which mimics or is imitating an animal is called as mimic okay and which one is called as model the organism that is mimicked that is mimicked so e character na to, uh, the animal is going to choose this character and it is going to act like like b right so e, this character is mimicked mimicked that's why this b one is called as a model right so for example while you, while uh, um, you are doing copywriting you are copywriting from the another person right the, uh, that person uh, so you are copying from the another paper so that paper will become the uh, first paper will become the model right like that so i hope you understood this concept very easily and here the model is usually a species that has the abundant population and as a successful uh, warded means uh, prevent of predators with an anti predatory device or strategy means mod if you say something is model or ideal to whom you are going to say that that person is very strong or, and there is a abundant means there are more population of it and he is very good uh, is like a hero is very successful at preventing avoiding okay preventing or avoiding a predator with anti predatory devices her strategy you have a more strategies to avoid the predators so that kind of model is going to imitate by the mimic that is actually called as a model okay going on to the next one and some prey prey animals have evolved certain patterns on their bodies that mimic other animals in an attempt to startle their predator means here some uh, uh, prey is what they will do they will have certain uh, patterns on their body why they are mimicking those certain patterns on the body it is because to uh, startle means to shock their predators means to uh, mm, uh, to say to predator that i am harmful i am dangerous so that when the when it acts like i am dangerous the predator will get shocked okay so it is not going to eat that prey so that that uh, this is the st strategy used from uh, animal uh, prey animals to escape from the predators next point the major concern of animals and other uh, critters critters means uh, other uh, animals is to protect themselves from predators okay is to protect themselves from predators in order to survive and reproduce and pass uh, their genes off to a new generations uh, this is the another reason why they are mimicking this is because to protect themselves so if they get protected then they will able to survive and reproduce so that they can pass their genes to the next generation so here as i said before so there are so many reasons to do a mimicry that is first one to escape from the predator or to get the food and then to survive and to uh, reproduce and and then to pass uh, to pass to uh, pass the genes to the another generation to, these are all the reasons for the mimicry now if i have to give some more easy definition for the mimicry are have uh, noted here there are another three uh, definitions are there we will quickly go through these def uh, definition easy ones so in the in the examination they will ask for one mark question so uh, in theory examination but in in competitive exam uh, i will say, i will tell uh, the important ones here in competitive exam they will ask for all these things protective mimicry warning mimicry aggressive mimicry especially Uh, mullerian mimicry and bettesian mimicry you should uh, most uh, you should concentrate on these two concept don't worry i will make you to understand all these uh, all these uh, concept one by one now i will start with the another definition that is uh, uh, mimicry how we can define the resemblance of an animal species to another species or to a natural object see very very uh, simple english term very easy definition so thereby you can score the uh one mark question here so what is mimicry it is a resemblance of one animal or one uh, of an animal species a kind of animal species to another species uh, animal species to another places or to the or to the natural object that is called as mimicry another definition mimicry is the close resemblance of one organism one organism to another organism because of which unpalatability unpalatability means palatable means tasty which shows that uh, it is unpalatable it is tasty it is not tasty at all okay tasteless you can say okay and conspicuousness means it is very attractive noticeable character so it is going to exhibit all those characters and is recognized and avoided by some predators this is how it is going to escape from the predator next definition mimicry is a special form of adaptive coloration in animals serving as protective mechanism 
to ensure that better survival of the species this is the another definition and some of the examples uh, which are the animals uh, doing the mimicry there are so many examples some of them have uh, 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 written here mm. looper caterpillars leaf insects brush crickets stick insects etc these are the example for the mimicry now we will move on to the different types of mimicry here the types of mimicry uh, it is mainly classified into the following types okay a group and b group first i will start with the a group okay and here uh, on the basis of which uh, these are all uh, divided based on the strategies for the anti predatory okay how how we can escape from the predators okay first one protective mimicry second one warning coloration or opossumatism third one aggressive mimicry or it is also called as predatory mimicry okay first one we will start with the first one here protective mimicry it is also called it has the another name this is also called as defensive mimicry the first point here the protective mimicry this protective mimicry is shown by prey okay we, i already explained the two concept that is prey and predator okay should concentrate on this point okay this protective mimicry is uh, shown by the prey uh, what it shows it shows the mimicry to escape from the predator okay so that Uh, kind of uh, mimicry is called as protective mimicry the question is here here is that what is protective Pro protective mimicry uh, is uh, what is protective mimicry the protective mimicry is shown by the prey um, uh, mimicry to escape from the predator in protective mimicry there are other types in that first one is camouflage it is also called as concealing mimicry or it has the another name cryptis and Uh, this is very must okay one uh, chemo flag or one uh, topic we have many names for it you might have know what is chemo flag in the examination they will ask what is concealing mimicry both are same it that is another name of the chemo flag that's all okay you have to remember the different names of the uh, concepts okay that is very important so what now we will know what is chemo flag here chemo flag means the prey matches matches the color of its background or its habitat or its an object so here what it will do it is again done the protective mimicry right so protective mimicry shown by the prey so this prey see here protective mimicry is shown by not by predators this this is the key point you should have to remember okay i as i mentioned it before like some uh, the mimicry uh, some mimicry are shown by the prey and some mimicry are shown by the predator here prey why it is showing the mimicry to escape from the predator and the why pre uh, predator is showing the mimicry to catch the prey and here protective mimicry is shown by the prey okay and in that one type is camouflage hence it is also shown by the prey uh, how it is doing that protect protective uh, mimicry M by matching its color to the background okay and then or its habitat or an object okay habitat or an object for example so uh, it has uh, white paper is there if i put the uh, white color pen here so it it both are become the same color so you won't get the differentiation so it, that's how it is going to match up the color for example the best example for this is stick insect see stick insect it is act like a stick okay and when you look at the stick uh, uh, if we like it whether it is a stick or uh, stick insect or stick okay both will look similar so when you observe the uh, tree bark there on the tree bark tree trunks there the stick insect it is going to uh, go on, go and stay in the uh, background where it uh, matches its skin color okay that is the best example for the camouflage moving on to the examples here so i have written uh, so many examples okay uh, you can take these examples okay now the first example uh, leaf okay so for example grasshopper is there no that, that is going to acts like it is going to matches its color to the uh, leaf okay green color right so grasshopper green color you won't get the much difference okay. and next one is praying mantis the spraying mantis mimics as a dead leaf it is going to mimic mimic as a dead leaf and resembles the background of the vegetation so that it is going to match the uh, background so it is going to escape from the predator and as i just mentioned stick insect it is going to um, uh, like um, which is uh, matches its uh, skin color to the branches of the tree and twigs of the tree then next one zebra so uh, it is going to match its to the match its uh, grassy background okay so it is going to stay there and it go trying to match the background so that another animal will not eat it next one sargassum fish mimics by body shape 
to the sargassum weed okay so there is a fish called as sargassum fish there is a weed called as sargassum weed okay this is making its body shape resemble to this sargassum weed so that it can escape from the predators and the next one a crab okay and it is going to imitate uh, perfectly with the white pebbles on the beach okay you you might already know the water pebbles right so it is going to uh, uh, match its, uh, uh, its body shape the crab is going to mimics like a white pebble so that it is going to uh, escape from the predators and uh, moving on to the next one for example some uh, uh, frogs and toad species from south america are flat and red and it is going to mimic like a uh, dead brown leaves on the floor of the forest you might already have know the uh, the frog color will be similar to the um, the dead brown leaves which is fallen from the trees like soil color so that's how it is going to match up its color okay so there, there are so many example here uh, so repeat all these example and remember some of the examples so you can easily write down the example so these are all the example for what these are all the example for hemophilus next one is uh, second type that is warning coloration or opostomatism okay or warning mimicry so here uh, war in warning mimicry the prey uh, acts like it is toxic here the prey is toxic and advertises it to the predator and it is going to advertise it to the predator by possessing a warning coloration so the prey is uh, it is it is uh, it says to the predator that i am very toxic by it gives some uh, coloration warning coloration okay so how it is going to advertise advertises an unpalatable taste means very disgusting very toxic uh, tasteless very um, like it is not very palatable unpalatable taste it is going to advertise the unpalatable taste in this type of protective mimicry it is also type of protective mimicry okay here what happens concentrate more here non poisonous and harmless okay the animal a thing the animal a and animal b here animal a is it, it is non poisonous okay it is non poisonous and it is harmless it, okay it is harmless organism it is going to mimic like a, a poisonous and harmful organism like a b organism and and the palatable organism and if it is a palatable one will act like a, i am non palatable okay or unpalatable okay like that so uh, what happens in warning coloration non poisonous will act like poisonous and then harmless will act like harmful and uh, palatable organisms act like unpalatable that's it okay example uh, if you look at the example you will understand better uh, for example tropical frogs have toxic skin poisons and advertising uh, lethality by warning coloration okay these will act like a Uh, poisonous uh, frogs for example this uh, philobetus bicolor uh, tropical frog heterodon uh, is a non poisonous snake but when it feels dangerous from enemies it is going to flatten its head and produces a hissing sound like a poisonous snake okay so here what happens there is a heterodon snake is there okay it is actually a non poisonous one but when it feels like uh, uh, like i am in a danger that time it will act like a poisonous snakes how it is going to do that by a hissing sound next one that is aggressive mimicry uh, aggressive mimicry in aggressive mimicry this aggressive mimicry is shown by predator still now we were studying about the prey mimicry now we are studying about the predator mimicry here predator why predator is uh, doing the mimicry because to catch the prey so here predator shows this mimicry to catch the prey and sometimes a predator it is going this predator is resembles its prey and approaches a victim more easily than such mimicry is called as aggressive mimicry what happens this predator is going to uh, trying to resemble to its prey it is going to act like a very uh, you know it is not going to make the prey to uh, feel like i'm predator okay it is going to act like uh, uh, it is going to resemble like its prey so like i am very close like that even it is feels like okay this is the same when prey thinks that oh this is the same prey it is not a predator then it is going to mingle with that so and that time it is suddenly going to catch up the prey okay that is the aggressive mimicry next in aggressive mimicry for make you to understand uh, clearly uh, in aggressive mimicry there are two uh, two types okay concealing mimicry and 
allure or alluring mimicry okay here the concealing mimicry what is this con concealing mimicry concealing mimicry here once again i have already told hemophilage right it has another name called as hemophilage here this same hemophilage is also shown by the predator as well now we are studying in the point in the view of predator point of view okay here what happens this predator it is going to match the color of its background or its habitat or an object to catch uh, and catches the prey uh, for example uh, 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 if i have to take the example of the tiger what it will do it is going to um, hide under the uh, bushes uh, in a dry areas uh, uh, where it matches its color to the background or an object which is nearby then it is suddenly jumps into the another organism like that okay example for this the spiders okay the spiders are found on the golden rod and other flowers their yellow body color resembles too much with that of the flowers upon which they sit okay as a result these spiders becomes invisible to the visiting insects upon which they prey so what happens these spiders are going to sit uh, the spiders uh, the body color will be golden uh, golden color right so these are going to sit on the golden rod or maybe on the golden flowers so when the uh, insects will come they will think that it is a flower but it is a spider okay and then it is going to get its catches its prey okay that is the concealing mimicry or you can say chemoplant which is shown by the predators as well next allure or alluring uh, alluring mimicry so here uh, uh, the predator is going to attract it is trying it is trying to attracts the prey and uh, going to catches the predator uh, prey it is going to predates on it okay for example certain african lizards are protectively protectively colored except for a brilliant uh, brilliant color spot at the corner of the mouth which attracts the insect okay that is the one um, example so um, in the next video we will talk about a very important types that is batesian mimicry and mullerian mimicry i'm hoping that this uh, that this video will be uh, helpful if you like this video uh, please do share and subscribe so that um, that will help me to do to do more thank you everyone